in times like this, these are not the times we begin to ask God, Lord, what will you do for me? The cry of sons in Zion has changed. And the cry of sons is, Lord, what can I do for you? What can I do for you in times like this? What can I do for you? Any man that begins to pray in this manner will score a point before the Lord. Any man that begins to pray in this manner will be highly esteemed in the courts of God because he understands the burdens of the kingdom. Jesus taught the disciples to pray. He said, pray in this manner, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we began to find kingdom. We began to find the will of God being executed on earth as it is in heaven before we begin to see daily bread. So the man that understands the mind of God will have a kingdom heart first of all before he talks about himself. The man will be first kingdom minded when he when he's raising incense to heaven. The first incense should be kingdom based. That's why many times we pray and don't see the result of our prayer. Because our prayers are selfish. A kingdom minded people. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I've told you severally that prayer is not just that we are praying. The reason why we ought to pray is because God's will cannot be done here unless incense of prayer is raised. So Jesus told them, pray and say, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is prayer that can help bring to pass God's will on earth. Without prayer, the will of God will not be executed. That's why before Jesus began his ministry, he was found at the wilderness praying 40 days and nights before he began. And before he went to the cross, we found him at Gethsemane praying and the word of the Lord said, the angel of the Lord came and strengthened him. So it was by prayer Jesus executed and forced the will of God on earth. So prayer is a delicate part of consecration. Prayer is a delicate part of priesthood. You don't talk about consecration without talking about prayer. Consecration is not just on purity alone. It's on prayer. It's on submission.